Yes, well, sci-fi and horror, they, there's, yeah. a place, yes, there's a place where they meet. I have a friend that says that sci-fi doesn't have to imply horror, but it's much more fun when it does. <laughs> yeah. And I, I love, I love like, you know, growing up, you see superheroes and, and they're mm-hmm. colorful and they're great, but give me an anti-hero any day. Give me someone where it's like the line is kind of blurred for them. And mm-hmm. what we what we decided to do quite early on was to give next to none of our characters costumes per se. You know, mm-hmm. <clears throat> we, we, we would, again, like use an implication, but, you know, a hoodie yeah. instead of, you know, would be pulled yes. up or we have one character who wears a mask at all times. You never see mm-hmm. his face. It's kind of like my tip of the hat to V for Vendetta, you know. The, the, yeah, the I was thinking of that precisely. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. But his clothing changes. So this character is mm-hmm. called Foe. And, you know, he's a you know, he's a great fighty kind of, you know, kind of character. But his clothing changes all the time. But his mm-hmm. face plate is always present. So we didn't yes. want to do colourful costumes. Everything's kind of quite macabre. Mm-hmm. Well, that's very innovative because normally in comics, even in cartoons, they never change their clothes. So yeah. it's something, right? It's something different to, to give to the audience. Yeah. It's very different. And- and I, I, again, I just I like the idea that because I've had people who have said to me, "Well, when are we going to see his face?" It's like, oh, that, someone said to me, "What does he look like under the mask?" And, I, and I, even I went, "I don't, I don't know because I haven't thought about it. I haven't yeah. thought about what under the mask. I don't want to. There should be no reason to." Um, exactly, the identity is linked to that yeah. image. Yeah, and when we were writing the book, yeah. We, we kind of we, we, we wrote the book from uh, so the, it's called points of villainy points of virtue just yes. like to say double anthology but POV is point of view so we okay. did the book as an anthology from the points of view of 16 normal people mm-hmm. in this crazy world of superheroes and terror and stuff so it's 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 seen from the lay person's point of view um, mm-hmm. and it plays upon fear and it plays upon things that you know the, um, kind of uh, terrifying from grand moments of like oh my god that thing's coming to get me to mm-hmm. a whisper just behind your ear which actually i find more terrifying you know yeah. 